For the background for our Chris Uphughes heart, we're using a very large piece of paper and you need to get your name in the corner. Sorry, I have to work upside down. Also write your class in the corner. Then we are using markers, my markers, and some water and brushes to do a little trick. We're going to be painting using the markers. So your first mission is on the background and keep it really simple. You can make what looks like a stripe with rainbow colors, any colors you choose. So I'm going to make mine so it's a zigzag or it switches and then it's curvy. And I'm going to repeat this, leave a little space, I'm making a copycat line. Just with three or four colors. And I'm trying to use the side of the marker because that leaves a much fatter line. And you definitely do not want to use a dead marker on this. Okay, I think I have one more color. Add some green. Make another copycat line using the side of the marker so it's a very fat line. Now, we take some water and if I brush very carefully in between these two lines, you see how the color is starting to spread. So I'm just following the line with my paintbrush. And then I'll repeat that down here. Follow the line really carefully. My water. So that color kind of spreads and fills in the little stripe. Now while my beautiful drawing dries, I'm going to go back to work on my heart faces. So we will now use some oil pastels because those are nice and bright on paper. We will use the oil pastels to go back in and add color where you need it. So if my eyes need to have some white on there, I'll go in and add some white. If my tongue needed to be pink, I will go in and add some pink and color it very nicely. So it's a good idea to plan a little bit before we glue anything down. Now there will be a little bit of overlapping and that is where one object goes on top of the other, but just part of it. And we also want to make sure we still see your little stripe creation on your project too. Plus we're using something called balance. We want the same amount of stuff on both sides of your paper because it wouldn't look interesting if we piled up all your hearts over here and had nothing on the other side. So we want an even amount of things on your paper. So do a little bit of organizing. All right, I have a good amount of hearts on my page. At least I have all six, you're using all six. My hearts are spaced out very evenly. I've got the same amount of stuff on both sides of my project, so it is balanced. I can still see my little marker decoration in the middle, and now it is time to glue things. And since we have layers of hearts on your page, you have to glue the ones that are on bottom first. And since these are very large, remember when we glue, we only need to put glue on the outside edge and then press down and count to five in your head and repeat for all of your hearts. Glue on the outside edge, press down. <laughs> 